and see. Hey, hi. Can you guys hear me okay? Hello. Can you guys hear me? Let me know in the comment section if you can hear me okay. Because uh, I set up the microphone just like other time, like yes, uh, last week. But somehow, oh, okay, the commercial started on my uh, iPad, which means, okay, all right. So it's working. Cool, cool, cool. Loud and clear. Okay, good. Hi, guys. So I know it's in the middle of Golden Week in Japan, um, which is a, is a ray of national holidays. And so I'm not expecting many people who are currently living in Japan would join, sadly. But <laughs> I will try my best. <laughs> um... I don't think, I think it's like a regular day in the States or any other country. Like, you know, we all just finished with the uh, the Easter holiday, right? So hopefully I won't, uh, I won't, hey, hello, hi, hello, hello. So it shouldn't be, uh, I should be expecting more people to join, but I'm not sure, hopefully. <laughs> So I, um, because we have a, um, how many days off? The maximum, if you use the paid holiday and whatnot uh, wisely, then you could take a, a maximum 10 days off from work. Not from school, unless you actually skip school. Uh, however, a lot of people do that. And then they go to, like, I saw a, um, a TV news saying, like, they are uh, headed to Hawaii and, uh, yeah, uh, you know, other countries as well. So it's getting uh, more back to normal holidays, I think. And there is no restriction uh in any cities or prefectures in Japan. So I think we are all free to go back into their hometown and visit their parents and relatives and friends and things like that. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, no, 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 there is no like drinking um, uh, restriction or anything like that as well. So it should be, yeah, shouldn't be too bad. But uh, so from last week, we decided to uh, bring in something to drink. And then I'm home, so I can drink a little bit of alcohol today. So I got Corona. <laughs> this is actually my first time drinking Corona. Yeah, because we are talking about a little bit Corona, you know, topic is a mask. So I, I thought that was going to bring in Corona. So I'm not really a, a beer person, to be honest. Okay, let's see, take a sip. Okay, not bad. Like the fact that I can actually drink this is a miracle. Yeah. So, like I've tried a couple of Japanese typical uh, beer, but I've heard recently that Japanese beer is not really a beer. Did you know that? Um, the the how you make a beer is different in other countries and in Japan somehow and there are only few types of big brand few brands in Japan that are actually beer beer the like the ingredients are different somehow I don't know but then um I don't know if I should say this but like you know the uh, one of the most popular Japanese beer is uh, Asahi super dry or something like that. But I cannot drink it at all. It's so bad for me, for me. But that's like actually one of the most popular beer in Japan. But this one I can drink. So I don't know, maybe t my taste buds are made for like boring alcohol. I don't know. <laughs> so this I can drink. But I'm not, uh, as a typical Japanese person, um, I don't have a strong alcohol tolerance. I don't know that's, if it, that's a word. So I can't drink much. This is 4.5%. So it's still a little, bit, a little bit too strong for me, I think. Right now, I'm fine. Okay. So have you ever got, uh, have you ever uh, drunk? 
Corona? No? I thought they stopped mating after COVID broke out. I don't know why, but I thought that I heard that kind of news. I'm going to put up the... Uh, the new still oh 21 percent yay <laughs> i was a little worried because like i usually have like more than 10 people waiting uh before the live stream starts but then i was like oh five people three people what right oh here we go so if you can click the share button and then like invite your friends and family that'll be awesome i'll be appreciated anyway so i'm gonna read the comments uh, konbanwa, golden week no yote wa, uh, wedding. Not my wedding, unfortunately. Uh, you remember Jasmine? I don't know if I ever talked about it in live stream or any other videos. Uh, I haven't really made a uh, casual videos. I probably mentioned it in Patreon, but, uh, but I don't think I said anything about it but anyway so remember jasmine we had a little collaboration and she doesn't really have any you know youtube videos and i think she has like a fishing channel yeah if you're interested <laughs> i don't know if she's still doing that before she was doing like a fishing channel but anyway so uh she has been dating this guy for a couple of years i think and i met him once uh that was like before covid i think and then they got engaged last last year, two years ago. It was 2020. And then I was like, yay, right? And then, but it was in the midst of the pandemic. So I was like, oh, are you guys thinking of throwing a wedding or what? And then they were like, well, we're going to take it slow. We're going to uh, see uh, how things going to go. And then finally, uh, she gave me the invitation, uh, I think. The, in the beginning of this year, and we are, uh, no, we are, I am heading to their wedding on Monday. So that's the biggest event. Um, and then we will have a uh, uh, pink earrings, the uh, the K-pop dance, K-pop dance idol units that I produce and I manage. Uh, the fourth uh, promotional video making. Yeah, so... <gasps> shit oops <laughs> i just i just i just remember that i should have picked up the uh extra batteries from the office i stopped by the office today because like we have we are in the midst of golden week so i don't have any english classes so that's why i'm live streaming from home today and so but I I forgot my camera and then the microphone and then everything else at the office. So I uh, I took a detour today and then uh, stopped by the office and then I picked up everything that I needed. But I saw one battery of the camera. Oh no, I still have to go back. Oh, <laughs> I had everything in that office. I have the charger and then I have the extra batteries. Ugh. Okay, anyway. <laughs> ah, nothing's going smoothly. But uh, those are the two big events that I have planned so far. And I'll be going back to work on the 6th. So, yeah. Anyway. So... Oh, okay, so let's talk about mask. Give me any mask information from all over the world. <laughs> Nobody wears mask anymore here in Australia. Okay. And no mask. Okay, where are you, Ken? Which country? Uh drunk stream is always the best stream. Corona, yep. Uh, ah, goes great with lime. Lime. Ah. I don't know if I can get lime in Japan. It's a, we can get lemon in Japan. Not so much with lemon. Uh, Made is she up? 2022年5月1日以降明日マレーシアでマスクがマスク着用が義務化されないことよかった。いいね。いいな。いいな、マジでいいな。Give me mask information. Only beer. You guys are talking about beer. 
Good evening. Uh, I cannot drink Coronas unless they are ice cold. It was ice cold. It was. Now, not anymore. And like Japanese beers are always in a can, which is not so good. I don't know. I, I don't like drinking a、uh, canned coffee either it, because I feel like there is some sort of like metal taste to it. If it's like、um, cafe au lait, you know, then that's fine. But like if it's like black, then no. Sapporo, the best, what? Best mainstream beer in IMO. Info, no. <laughs> Sapporo, then. I think Sapporo is pretty decent beer, I think. Like Sapporo and Kirin. And then Ebisu, those are the probably only three beers that are actually beer. Coke in a can tastes better though. Ah,、uh, Coke in a can is fine. Like any soda is fine. Yeah, but like if, when it comes to coffee and beer, can is not so good. Maybe it's just me. Hello, everyone. It's when. Do you guys wear masks? That's what I want to know. <laughs> what I heard is that in America, in Europe,、uh, it's not mandatory anymore.、Uh, some people are wearing masks, some people are not.、Um, yeah. So. <sighs> <laughs> Japan is still wearing masks. Yep. Crazy. I know. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, okay, where's my article? Let's take a look at the、uh, article. Article. Where's the article? Okay. Okay, so there is the article. So, technically, in Japan,、uh, there has never been any law. Or rules that will be like with some sort of fine if you break it about masks or going out or anything. So everything will be like, please, you know, do this way. And but if you don't follow our guidelines, there is no punishment. So there is no blaming others. So Japanese, right? So, I just wanted to make it clear before we get into this talk that、um, even if, like, let's say, okay, so I, you know, I'm, how can I say,、mm, what's a good example? I want to take a walk outside. I don't wear a mask because I'm not going to see anyone, right? So, I wear a mask when I have to、uh, get into a store or I have to teach、uh, to the kids. Or anything that I have to interact with、uh, people that would feel uncomfortable that if I'm not wearing a mask. Okay. And there is no, as I said, there's no rules or law against、uh, whether or not we have to wear masks in Japan. So don't judge anyone、uh, who are、uh, not wearing Japan, you know, <laughs> who are not wearing masks in Japan just because. I share this article, you know, just so you know. Okay. So, okay. So, but、uh, in fact, the, most of Japanese people wear masks. Okay. And so, this is talking about like, this is actually a survey uh, in uh, last year, last year, December last year. Okay. And then I don't think things have really、um, changed since then. Okay. So, in Japan, an increasing number of people want to wear masks even after the end of the pandemic. Thoughts? <laughs> Any thoughts? <sighs> I get really disappointed by just looking at this you know, article. Like, what? 
Of course, like I think it's very clear that I do not want to wear a mask if it's possible. I just want to take it off. But it's I think this story is like super duper Japan. So uh, people have been wearing masks for almost two years because of the COVID nineteen pandemic. Recently, an increasing number of young people in Japan are reluctant to be seeing their faces without masks. By others, some say I want to continue wearing a mask even after the end of the pandemic. Why is that? Um, the mask is now part of my face. A 27-year-old female office worker in Tokyo said, "I'm reluctant to remove the mask. The mask is now part of my face. Even if my skin is dry and rough, I can hide it with a mask." She's reluctant to show her face without a mask, especially to people she met after the pandemic. Why, Magu-chan? Why are you here? <laughs> I sent it to uh, I sent her to a downstairs in the living room, and then like I shut the door and everything, and then she's back. She meows like this when I'm talking. So when I'm on the phone or when I'm like, you know, live streaming or when I'm making video, it doesn't matter. She's like meow, meow, meow the whole time. And so I, <laughs> and my mom's here to pick her up. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay. I might turn red. Alcohol. Uh, this is why I don't really drink. In the video or with the other people, I drink at home. Um, okay, and where is it? Okay, a twenty-year-old, a twenty twenty-three-year-old male university student in Tokyo says, "My girlfriends say I want to wear a mask because I don't want to put on the makeup." I can understand that feeling. Like, okay. <laughs> um, however, the difficulty is that it is difficult to hear conversations with a mask on. So, what? So the main reason seems like that we don't have to put on the makeup, or for our guys, they don't need to shave. But really, you know,、um, and there is a number. Okay, so this. Was done into February twenty six, two thousand twenty, and seems like this is done by Yahoo Japan, so should be somewhat reliable resource. But about forty percent of Japanese people are not willing to take off masks even after the end of the pandemic. Thoughts. <laughs> ah, so yeah, um, kind of crazy, kind of crazy. Um, I, as I say, I want to take off the mask as soon as possible. Um, and lately there are some data that, like, you know, the mask does. Well, it's not recently. We've known for a while, but masks don't prevent. Much, you know,、um, like if you have COVID, then if you wear a mask, and if you are maybe like you know two meters away from other person, and if you are, you know, spending the time maybe like less than fifteen minutes or something, then maybe mask is like you know、uh, effective. But like if you are there for like an hour, two hours, and then if you are talking like you know this close and. Even if you have a mask on, like,、hmm. and like, so funny because, like, in Japan, even under the state of emergency,、um, they, they of course limit to go out to eat with other people, but they say like the one group has to be、uh, less than four people, and then we have a saying、uh, called、uh, mask kaishoku. And it's in mask is mask, right? Kaishoku is like、um, uh, eating, eating party, eating, meeting, eating anything. So eat out in a group. And but when you eat, you take off the mask anyway, and you eat. But 
once you start drinking, you're not going to put the mask on every time. You know what I mean? And then anyway, you start talking with a mask. It's like, what's the point of like having the musk meal? Oh, here we go. Musk meal. <laughs> yeah. So then we have been doing that for like how many? Almost like at least one year, maybe close to two years. And that doesn't prevent anything, right? So if you want to... Um, if you want to prevent the whole COVID, the coronavirus going around town, then you have to close off the restaurants, like lockdown, right? But they don't do that. But then, because like then they would have the the government would have a lot of complaints from the restaurants and whatnot. Um, and as I understand that part, but still, musk meal doesn't do anything. You know what I mean? So, anyway, ha, because it's ninja mask. Ninja mask is cool. That sounds cool. Ninja with mask, right? Like a hoodie and a mask. That's a ninja. Oh, I had no problem wearing a mask myself, but it is, uh, if it, uh, okay, here we go. But if it isn't necessary, I definitely choose not to wear in one. See, like I'm, I'm the same way. So, um like even before the covid when i had a uh like when i have sore throat or uh something like i like i i start feeling like i'm coming down with something then i was like okay i'm just gonna wear a mask right and um it's kind of like japanese etiquette to wear a mask when you feel you feel like you have a cold and so I used to do that sometimes. And so the mask is fine. I have no problem with that. But I don't I don't choose to wear a mask. Okay, so here's the story. So like okay, so um in Japan it, it's getting hotter, hotter every day. It's towards summer. And so I have a couple of high school students and they start uh, they said that they had the their first P class the other day. Uh, because we start new school, new school year in April, right? And then the school teacher told them to, it's okay to take off their masks. And they also, like most of the students would do. And the reason behind this is because it's getting hotter and then they move around because it's PE class. And so they might, uh, you know, run out of oxygen. Like they might hyper something something i don't remember the high ventilation no that's not it anyway so they need to you know do need to they need to breathe but they don't get enough oxygen right and we had um there are some incidents back in 2020 that they did a, a marathon race and with a mask and then many people passed out and i don't think nobody died but there are also times when they did a uh, PE class in elementary school or junior high school with mask on and some kids actually died. And that's why they suggest the teacher suggest uh, the students to take off their mask while they are doing some, you know, exercise. Right. However, uh, one of my students said that she was so like um, felt so like embarrassed that to take off the mask and so she did it and it's everyone's choice right so the teachers won't force the students to take off the mask but i was like what right and uh like i have seen her face before covid and like she's just a really cute girl and she's like she has a really cute face i'm like why do you have to hide it you know so I don't understand why they want to do that. And but we did have some sort of um, culture among females that when we're not wearing makeup, uh, we tend to wear a mask. But it's kind of funny because most of the makeup will be up here, like eyebrows and eyelashes and things like that. And a mask would only cover here. But down here, there's only like lipsticks that you can put on. 
So covering here won't cover the whole face. So anyway, you are showing your, you know, non makeup face to the public. So then I was like, why? But anyway, so we had that kind of custom in Japan that when we want to run out to the convenience store or supermarket or a little bit chores, and we don't have we don't have any makeup on, and we just wear a mask. Not everyone, but like a lot of people would do. And so I guess that's kind of like similar feeling to it. So I think like Jeff, that's a Japanese problem. I just realized like Norm hasn't texted like you know you know, um, commented at all. He might be busy. <laughs> he would usually drop a bomb on it. <laughs> but, uh, okay, I'm just, I'm just going to go through a little bit of comments now. Da, da, da. They need more con self-confidence. Yeah, that's that's one thing. That I think Japanese people would have the one of the lowest uh self esteem in the whole world i'm pretty sure i do not know why um hi good I, good evening hi i like masks i hope people still use them here oh, okay okay so some have that kind of like so i'm not opposed to not i'm not opposed to wearing masks if they want to but now things are like this like japanese government should make some like make up their minds that you know how uh for example like outdoor it's not mandatory to wear masks if you want you can but if you don't if you don't want you don't have to i don't want to force it on to anybody yes yeah that's that's the same thing so i don't want to force it on to anyone but like right now japanese government is forcing everyone to wear a mask no matter what so they look more pretty with a mask yeah that's the thing yeah um so like if you hide it here and if you only see eyes and seems like that looks more pretty than the whole face yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to read some comments. Your hair looked much lighter yesterday, isn't it light? Uh, yeah, I dyed. Uh, I dyed my hair yesterday. Is it yesterday? Yeah, it's yesterday. Because I have a wedding to attend tomorrow. No, two days from today. Yeah. So I was like, when you have a long hair, you don't have the need to go to the hair salon very often. And you just like push it back. Right? And I was like, oh, but I have a wedding to attend. And so I decided to go yesterday. So, yeah, it's a little lighter. Well, the color is the same. It just, I got some, and I was like seeing roots down here. So it was getting darker, darker. My hair grows very, very fast. Like super, super fast. And I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> How about your new hobby going? Uh, it's going great. Um, I'm just... Okay, so my new hobby uh, is programming, like coding. And I've done a little bit of uh, HTML and then CSS. And then I did moved on to JavaScript. And I, I took a little bit of Python. Um, I've done like these four for so far. And then... Uh, first, I was going into a Japanese website uh, that has like a uh, that has something like slides to teach you um, how to code, and they will give you like assignment, and then you can do this on like on online, and then you just need to like type like type the 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 codes, and then you just need to uh, 
make something like if it's like HTML and then there is the uh, example website and down like in the little corner and then you just need to take a look and they have to match up with the uh, uh, whatever you're making. And that was pretty fun. And then, uh, but I took all the, the free courses in like one day. <laughs> And I was like, oh, no, I can't do anything without, like, paying the fee. And I was like, oh, but I wasn't sure at the time. Like, I'm, I don't know if this is worth it. And so, like, worth paying. And so I decided to move on to JavaScript. And I was like, I did JavaScript. And then and I was hit the, the, you know, the end of the free course. And I'm like, huh, okay. And then I was, like, all done in, like, one day. And then I did the Python. And I was like, hmm, Right. And then I was about to make a pay, like, you know, make a payment. And then I was like, I found another uh, American website, but it's all in English. And I was like, okay, this is free. So I'm going to do this. And now I'm like using the, the website called Code Academy. And then I'm like doing JavaScript. But uh, I don't know. I kind of prefer the Japanese site. And the coding part is pretty much the same. Like, it's all English, right? So it doesn't matter if you take it in Japanese or take it in English. It doesn't really matter. But the Japanese one was kind of more focused on just, like, one thing. And then you can do that. And then you can try, the, uh, tr like try on your own. And then... Um, yeah, so it was more, um, I don't know, organized, I would say. And uh, so I might pay for that. And then I will take the course, maybe. But even though I'm doing JavaScript right now, sorry if you are not interested in the programming at all. Like, I kind of like Python better. But because, like, a lot of people say, like, uh, if you Google, like, the... Uh, the most popular uh, coding language. And then the Python comes at the top because Google use it, maybe Apple use it, I don't know. But many, uh, you know, the IT companies would use Python right now. And, but JavaScript is also kind of strong, right? And a lot of like website was saying that the Python is a little bit more advanced compared to JavaScript. And so I decided to go with JavaScript first and then, because it's pretty much the same, you know, and, but Python was simpler for me, but I felt like it's better if I start with JavaScript because JavaScript more, I, I feel like it was more complicated. It's wordy, wordy, you know, too many words to execute just one action um yeah so if i understand javascript correctly then for uh, to um in order to understand python is a lot smoother so i decided to go from javascript and then move on to python so oh yeah <laughs> But, uh, yeah, Python has more beautiful syntax. That, yeah, that's true. Because, like, JavaScript, when you want to output something, you just need, you have to put, like, console.log, and then you put whatever you wanted to put it on the, the console. But, like, for a, a Python, you just need to hit print, right? And then you don't need a lot of the, the, the semicolons and whatnot. So, like, yeah, I prefer Python, probably. But the the fun like foundation, uh, fundamental part of it is pretty much the same. Okay, so should be any questions if you have anything. Yeah, that was a good question. Take a little sip. I have a feeling that I'm not having many people who are living in Japan because it's um, Golden Week. 
Uh, good question. What made you want to start coding? Any specific goal in mind? That's a very good question. Um, my Japanese high school was a little different from other high school. And so they had a like very good teachers who are very good at what they teach. And so I took this class uh, in a computer class and there I already learned how to write a HTML and then JavaScript. And before I graduated, even though I was not like a tech person or I had uh, no interest in going to that world. However, once you take that class, you would learn how to code. And so for the HTML class, it was for everyone. It was mandatory class. And then I remember making a website, a simple website with my, all of my pets picture on it. I was like, I was like talking about my pets. And then uh, for JavaScript class, it was electives. And then, so I took one because that was after I came back from Hawaii. And uh, I remember making some sort of like a snake game at the end of the course that when, like, you know, when you, like, I think you control with the uh, up, down, like left, right, uh, you know, arrows. And then like the snake will go, you know, as you eat the guide and they have to eat all the treats something like that within like you know 10 seconds or 15 seconds and then you one times over like one times uh over and then you lose type of thing so yeah so for me um it was just for fun i just wanted to continue what i've learned then and I, and then also, I'm watching one of the Japanese YouTube, you, not YouTubers. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this. If, uh, do you guys know 4Channel? Um, so there is a uh, website called 2Channel in Japan. And uh, I'm not a big fan of. I wasn't really into the whole like internet thingy when I was young. And so I really didn't, like, I didn't really know about what two channel, four channel, Nichan, yep. <laughs> Here we go. We call it Nichan, Nichan Neru. And uh, so the found, founder, the developer of the, the Nichan Neru, the two channel or uh, the uh, four channel, that's the English version of it. And um, is now on YouTube and uh, he just live stream whenever he feels like. For like two hours straight, three hours straight, and I'm like, I am now admiring him because not because like he, like you know he did some like some great thing, but um, because he can talk two hours, three hours straight with drinking. I'm doing this today for the first time, and like my mind is like so fuzzy, and I'm like, oh, okay, I can go to bed now. So I probably not gonna do this ever again because. Uh, my mind doesn't work, but maybe I have to get used to it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not drunk. I'm a little bit tipsy, maybe. But yeah, what was I talking about? I have no idea. That was real. Uh, and then he is the, uh, like, basically he made the website, right? And so he is the great uh, programmer. And he doesn't program anymore. And he just like outsourced everything. He's the uh, probably CEO over some company or something. And then, so here and there, like he basically answer all the questions from the viewers and whatnot. But sometimes there is a uh, question about programming and coding and things like that. Like, you know, the JavaScript and Python and, and all that kind of thing. Like, I don't like not knowing anything. That's my, I don't know, personality. And so it was like, when I hear those words, like, what the hell is that? Right? So, and then he was like, well, you know, there are many free websites that you can practice your coding skills. And then like, you can learn and like, okay, I'm going to take that. I'm going to try that. I'm going to see if I'm like, uh, if I'm good at programming. 
and turns out I have that patience. So I don't have any like goal set. Like it'll be cool if I can make something, but that'll take uh, take up so much of my time. So I don't know if it's worth it. And uh, so yeah, if it's if if I feel like it's 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 really a hobby. Yeah, I try not to turn it into some sort of business because like I do that every time I find something like I thought it was a hobby. I can't keep it as hobby. I try to monetize it so, and then it becomes business, and I don't want to do it with this. So, yep. Yeah. Um, Python is good language to learn with. A lot of websites do use JavaScript for interactive content. Yeah, yeah. So I think you need like both um, knowledge, but they are very similar. Just use the different word wording. Yeah. Up, 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 up. 37 what 37 minutes cool yeah it's golden week so it's like growing slow but it's 40 it's, it's already 40, it's 40 minutes so i only have like 10 more minutes though if you have any questions i only have 10 more minutes ah. I'm thinking of making a programming course within my school, though. I have a, I know someone who can code. So I'm thinking of hiring him and have him teach the kids. Little kids wants to learn how to code recently. Yeah. I wonder if I just like sit here quietly. Ah, it's not cold enough yet mo anymore. Ah, what if I just like sit here and then like in silence and what's gonna happen? <laughs> Probably viewership would drop. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. I wish we had a programming course when I was a kid. Yeah, I know, right? But like now there are so many engineers that who can code and so like before maybe i'll say two decades ago like 20 years ago 30 years ago i think when you know like youtube started or when all the uh i don't know the whole internet started and all that kind of thing like if you can program then that you might have made a fortune as an engineer but nowadays there are so many people who can code right so even if you can code fine if you're not gonna you you can make a fine money but like it's not gonna be you know you're not gonna make you rich rich but somehow that all the parents think that learning how to code would make their children more money like, mm, not necessarily so well you have 10 minutes to finish the rest of the beer i'm not gonna do that i'm getting sleepy part of coding i've heard is that to fix bugs and so you have to be very um how can I say? Very, very patient. <laughs> and you have to find the little details, like little mistakes, right? And you have to fix one by one. And so if you can't do that, and then you can't be an engineer. But that's something I like, to be honest. So I kind of wish that I had that kind of education when I was young. I might have liked it, though. Yeah. Um, we have big shortage in IT and programmers in the Netherlands. Okay, so Netherlands to go. So if I ever, if I ever picked up pick up, picked up the skills, I will move to the Netherlands. Netherlands have uh, sounds fun. My uh, host sister used to live in, in the Netherlands. Yeah. 
I don't know where she is now. She's moving around Europe. Like people who are living in Europe, they always move around. Yeah, my face is getting red. Yeah, not gonna lie. Not that bad. It's not that bad. And we only have five more minutes, so I can survive. Yay. <sighs> but like, yeah, whenever I drink alcohol, I get sleepy, especially at night. If it's like, you know, in the middle of the day, and then I'm probably fine. But I have to kind of train myself because I haven't, I haven't drunk alcohol for like close to a year. I can survive. I cannot survive without coffee, but I can survive without alcohol. So I don't have to drink every day. I don't have to drink at all. I'm like a social drinker. And so I ha if I don't go to the party, I don't drink. And because of the COVID, uh, I don't go out. There's no parties, right? And so I don't, you know, buy alcohol and a drink at home. I don't do that. And But if you don't drink constantly and then your you cannot uh, deal with alcohol very well and but i'm heading to the wedding as i said in a couple of days so i have to train my body <laughs> to take in some alcohol it doesn't have to be beer but you know some some sort of alcohol i just need to drink a lots of water that's all a six pack of beer lasts me a month or more see yeah there are people who can who can deal with without alcohol i like sweet ones i used to drink uh coke and tequila i think yeah and then like i'm i uh oh my god what is it? Like I used, to, I, I liked the, like, I have no idea, but the drink that has like a little cherry in it, I don't remember the name of it. I've learned it because I loved it. And so when I, like, it was actually at the wedding and I was attending, not my friends' friends, <laughs> but they remember me, so. Okay, friends. Uh, when I when I went back to the states to visit my friends from college, and I was invited to this wedding, and there I've learned this drink. Anybody knows a rum and coke? No, I cannot drink rum. I drank rum uh, so much one time. Yeah, I was young, and since then I can't stand the smell of it. Um, maybe make a video of the Japanese wedding. I don't know. It's a Jasmine's wedding. I want to enjoy it. Um, ta -ta 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 -ta. Sherry will be dancing on the tables after the wedding. <laughs> well, it's a Japanese wedding, so I don't think there's it. Like, I don't think there's any dance though. Yeah, it's a little different from Western ones. But anyway, so uh. Like margarita, I don't think it's a margarita or martini. No, margarita, margarita and a martini, I would remember the name, but I can't remember the uh, the name of the drink for the life of me. And but I love that. I I really like that. But uh, second party, yeah, second party. We have a second party. But uh, is Sherry also an alcoholic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, a is it wine? Yeah, Sherry, the drink. What was it? Yeah, I think it's a wine. Yeah, it's white wine. Cherry is a white wine. I don't know if it's a good wine or not. I have no idea. But yeah, cherry is a wine. I should make a wine though. <laughs> I should make a wine that says cherry. But that's a maybe that's a name the brand that I can't. Is it the kind? If if the if the cherry wine is actually a kind of wine that I can you know, rebrand it. Yeah, maybe I can make my own wine. That would be cool. Anyway, anyway. So, any last question?
you turn everything to business. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. That's why I'm trying to keep the whole coding thing to a uh, um, hobby. Hobby is something that should be to um, cost money, take time, but nothing comes out. Right? Right? So I want to keep the coding thing as a hobby. Ah. You do not look too red to me. No? Oh, thanks. Maybe I have a bright light over there. Maybe it just washes out. Got directed here from Tokyo Lens Video. Yay! Oh, nice to see you again. <laughs> Next stream. Mm, I'm selling this programming course. What? Like towards the end, you guys have lots of questions. Hope you don't. All right, so long. I want to try one. I want to take one last question. Okay, I'm gonna take this question and then be done. What is a typical drink in Ehime? Except oh, okay, except juice. Um, I thought I was going to be like, I can include juice. Like, like typical uh, juice, right? You, you mean like alcohol? Water. Here we go. Water. Um, very typical. Alcohol wise? I think there is no, like, there is no specific to ehibe. It's just like all over the Japan is pretty much the same. Like female wants to drink like cocktail, kind of like sweet ones. Um, I think the names of each cocktails are very different from America. Because um, like I remember ordering, like when I want to order something, I would, uh, I, what I would do is that like I, I can't drink a lot of drinks. And so I would steal everyone's, I used to do that before COVID. So like everyone's drinks and I'll just pick one that I like. And then I ask my friend, like, what is this? And then I just sort of get, like, I'm gonna order that same drink. That's what I usually do. Um, but in Japan, as I said, like, you know, beer wise, it'll be Asahi Super Dry, which is not technically a beer. That's like the most famous one. Or Kirin Beer. Ah, gin and tonic. Yeah, I love gin and tonic. Yeah. Well, orange, I wouldn't say orange juice, but like orange juice, like I can't include juice, so that's why I went alcohol. Yeah, and I like green tea. <laughs> Everyone drinks green tea. Um, tequila sunrise. No, it's not like that. Barbin. I, know, I don't think I've ever drunk barbin. Gin and tonic is so good. Yeah. That's so good. And that doesn't give me headaches too. Like gin and, talk, gin and tonic is a legend. But the one that I'm talking about, the with the cherry in inside a drink. Cherry inside a drink. Yeah. That's not I have to take a look. But I, I don't think like that's not Japanese ones. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know if that answers your questions, but yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to finish this. Not in a video. But later. Anyway, so I will see you guys next week, I think. I'm gonna live stream from the office next week. So no drinking. No drinking. Anyway. Alrighty, so I don't know if you guys are starting a day or you are heading to work or just on the way to come back from work or you're gonna get some dinner or hi, we are about to be done. Sorry, <laughs> but uh, hope you have a great rest of the day. Uh, you miss me, you missed the stream, you can you can watch it. Like, I'm gonna save it archive so. So, alrighty. Oh, I just woke up. Good morning and good night. Bye. Bye. -bye.